Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a test for your students and make it available or visible to a specific number or specific names. Uh, this is in case that you have a makeup exam or like exams where you have your students to take it. Only one or two students have to take it. Okay. First of all, you create an exam. In my case, go to assessments. Uh, create, click on test. I already created a test. This one, I'm going to choose one of them, the list I have. You can create a test uh, on your own, whatever. But you know, the uh, important thing is the settings. Okay, so after you choose the test, click on submit. Here you have the uh, uh, you know, the test options or settings, make it available, and then for the display after display until, make it like as of now until, and make it available until today, let's say 2.30 p.m. Okay, there is something important that I need to clarify, okay? Test availability exceptions. By default, when you create a test or an exam, this test or exam will appear to all your students. Whether you uh, add a group or students from the list here or you don't add. This one is only for exceptions. Okay, for example, let's say that you have a student that uh, missed the test or like, you know, had a inter an internet disconnection or like some sort of same problem or like, you know, student with special abilities, then you can hear from here, after, like, you know, choose this person and give him like, or her, give him a special uh, setting. For example, like in this case, for example, I have uh, the attempts, only one attempt. You can uh, like, add a student here from this list and make the options for example like twice uh like uh, they, they can uh submit twice or three times or like any other exceptions maybe like to extend the time and so on and so forth okay but this is not what we are discussing here so again to uh you know to put it briefly test availability exceptions it doesn't it doesn't relate or it's not related to whether it's available to students and it's not available to students okay this one it will appear to all your students but this here to add exceptions okay so if you want to add the students here or don't add them just keep it as it is okay and then after that click on submit now you have the test here from here click on the arrow this one and go to adaptive release as you can see here this is the uh, the time like when it's available when it disappears now i want it to make it available to only one or two students okay membership this content item is visible to all users un until a membership creation criterion is created. Users must be specified in the username list or must be in the selected group. Okay, so I'm going to click on browse. And from here, I'm going to click here. It says like search. As you can see here, no users found. Okay, it means no students. So if you want, how you want like uh, the the list to appear to you, username, first name, the list, you know, in which order. I'm going to keep it like in username, okay? And then contains, you must choose not blank. Again, not blank. Once you click on it, click on go. I have the list of my students, okay? As you can see here, I have one of 25, one of 25 of, one to 25 of 52. It means that 
if you have to choose like one of the students that do not appear in this first page, you have to navigate using these arrows. Okay, two, and then go to three. Now I can see like the three items. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so username contains not blank, click on go. So here, from the first page, I'm looking for the name. Well, it's not ever, it's not here in the first page. Okay, I click on the second one. So I want this one to appear to this person only, this student. Okay, his name is Walid. Click on submit. Click on submit again. As you can see, item is available, but some students or groups may not have access. Enabled adaptive release. It means that only one student is gonna see this. It's gonna be available to only one student, to one student only, which like the students that I chose. Okay, that's everything. And that's the uh, option that you have to do for the, uh, the uh, makeup exams. Thank you for watching.